Hey guys, this is Pete with Shadow Moses 112. Wanted to give you an update on where we are with the Cobra 2 Max. I uh, wanted to show you what they sent. Uh, basically, what they sent to me was a new Y axis motor, uh, which is right there with the two rods. The, uh, the directions that they sent over with it was pretty straightforward. Uh, you can see the red on each side is where I marked the flat edges to make sure that the screw was properly in there. Uh, had to undo the twist tie that was over on this side um, to make sure that the cords fit uh, placing the motor in. Um, it was really about a half an hour's worth of work. Really not that bad. Nothing to grease or anything or line up. Uh, just ensuring that everything was tight. Uh, they also sent me a X-axis hot end uh, because the other one warped after it got jammed up. So what I just did was a re-level of the bed, which just finished. And I'm about to try a test print out to see if I'm still getting skipping. Uh, they were supposed to send, or they at least communicated that they wanted to send a motherboard. Uh, for some reason that didn't happen, so I'm going to uh, try with what I got and see how everything goes. thing I'd like to note is they said to tighten as far as possible and then loosen one whole turn. I marked X's when it was fully tight and then uh, turned it back one whole revolution. Uh, you have to completely undo these to be able to get the belt off of that um, spindle that they have there. Uh, they do send you new spindles and new bearings with the XX axis motor and the, and the um, extended rods. It just started this print and I think it's already, yep, it's already offset. The legs are supposed to be up front. As you can see, it's moved over about a half an inch. Stopping this. I'm doing standard. Um, doing, how's that 220? It's supposed to be about 200. For the heat. So it's heating up a PLA right now. So what I did was I just took all the eccentric nuts, I loosened them up, and now I'm like retightening them. And according to the directions, uh, you want to tighten them so they just touch the rail here. Um, and it says in their directions that over tightening may lead to a uh, wearing out of the bearings and shorten the life of the printer. So you can see the light is gone in between the rail and here. And when I move it, you can see it rotate. Just touching. Um, I did notice that one of the rails was tight here, like it was pushed in. Uh, so when I loosened it up, it kind of bounced out a little bit. And I did all nine. So there's nine total, three there, three there. For some reason this side doesn't have any. And then another three over here. I wanted to point out in the guide, it says that the synchronous nuts should line up. Um, they kind of do. Uh, it says toward the flat plane. So the flat plane is where this red mark is. I marked that so I knew where it would be. Uh, the only thing is in their photos, it shows that these screws are supposed to line up. They, they don't, but I don't think that's an issue. As long as they move synchronously, you really shouldn't have a problem. Um, it's more about tightening this to the flat edge of the rod. Um, when this whole thing moves, it's not going to miss a line, you know? So you're, you're just making sure that these are tightened here. Unless that's some kind of insinuation that there's a bigger problem with how the motor is functioning if the axes are misaligned. I don't think that's the case. We're getting too deep in the weeds, but that's what I, I think. This is, this is fine. And you can tell there's, this is a different one because this one didn't have the hot sticker on it. After doing that, I'm going to give this printer one more chance. All the rods are, are loosened up a little bit. Uh, the motor has been changed. The hot end has been changed. It's printing on a rug. I know that's not the best situation for it, but that ensures me zero wobble whatsoever. So nothing ground related should be interacting with the floor. Uh, this is elevated enough to ensure that it should not be an issue. Just wanted to show a test. After the eccentric nuts are done, there is no wobble in this bed still. Uh, it might have been that it was too tight. That, that could always be an issue. 
Let's see if that helped. My biggest worry overall is that there's a shelf life on the usage of these printers. Uh, when I got this printer in, I was setting up for this uh, awesome con here, and it had over 100 hours worth of printing before it started messing up. My thing is, if it reaches that 100 hours mark on, let's say, a new printer, will I still have the same issues? Is there, is there something that is not meant to last past that point? Uh, I really put it through its paces, and now it's showing. Still have a ticket open. Let's see.